Is there anything special that you keep in your locker? Uh, not really, my shoes. <laughs> yep. What's up, EuroLeague fans? Welcome to another episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hyde. Today, we have a very special guest, one of the up-and-coming stars of EuroLeague, Alba Berlin's own Louis Alende. Louis, what's up, man? How's everything? Uh, everything's perfect. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This season, you're having, you know, one of the best or the best statistical year of your career. So for you, you know, what does it mean, you know, to compete and play, you know, so well at the European highest stage, highest level? Uh, it's been fun. It's been really fun. Uh, you know, like my last two years in uh, Berlin, um, I think I did step forward every year. But this year is mm -hmm. the first year where I really feel like I have a big role. I go on the court and I feel like I, I know really what I what I can do, what I can bring to the table. And it's just uh, it's just fun to compete against the best players and like feel not feel like yeah, necessarily uh yeah, like I'm a level below, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like more like uh for sure there are players that are way ahead of me, but still I feel like I compete with a lot of guys in the Euro League and that's just a, it's just a good feeling. Yeah, where does that confidence come from? Because like you said, I mean you You've been on the Euroleague stage for the most part, you know, at a very young age, you know, competing with Van Berg and now competing with Alpha. And it's like you said, every year you've taken a, a step forward. So where does that confidence come from for, for you? Uh, it's just it's just practice getting better, practice feeling more confident. And for example, my shot, just having that that I know I can rely on. And just, yeah, the confidence, a little bit of experience. I know, yeah, what's going to happen playing against, uh, yeah, against like, big teams, big crowds. Yeah. But uh, I get used to it a little bit over the last couple of years, so it's not uh, it's not that uh, yeah that terrifying anymore. So yeah, you said experience, and you're 24 years old, and I I'm talking <laughs> about experience, and I'm 36, so you make me feel <laughs> you, you make me feel even older. <laughs> <laughs> now you you're you're born in Hamburg, Germany. Um, you know people that don't know Germany, you know even though I guess when people say it's a football country, but it still has a you know a strong you know basketball basketball history and basketball ties you know so was basketball you know always the dream being a pro basketball player always the dream for you i know you know it runs in your family you know from your father and, and such on but you know was that always the dream for you uh it was it was uh, actually because uh, like you said my dad played professional my mom also played so basketball is kind of the sport of the family yeah always going to basketball games, family, watching family. basketball on tv <laughs> yeah exactly exactly so uh, I was also playing soccer in school with friends a lot, uh, but still, it was always for me. It was always basketball. That's great, yeah. man. Now, now, now in Albert Berlin, I mean, many people would say, I mean, you guys play a unique style of basketball. You, you know, you know. Um, to me, I mean, for the people that really love the game of basketball, you guys play a beautiful brand of basketball. You know, where you know everybody's sharing the ball, everybody's moving and cutting. You know, Luke Sigma's throwing the ball between his legs and behind. <laughs> <laughs> making all of us small power forwards and setters look like fools. Um, so for you, you know, what do you enjoy the most about playing that style of basketball and, and, and why does it work so well for you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, it's super free. It's not, yeah, everybody everybody has to know what you can do best, but it's super free. You know, you can, uh, you can try stuff. It's not like you do one mistake, you're back on the bench. Um, you super have freedom. And then, like you said, a big part of it is Luke that shares the ball amazingly. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, yeah, also a big part is like we're just a yeah, bunch of bunch of friends. Because so you yeah. go to practice, it's like a group of friends. Everybody's basically the same age, very young. Uh, we spend a lot of time off the court. And, uh, yeah, just the, the fun part of it. Just like being together, playing together, have the freedom, don't have a coach that is on you all the time, gives you a little bit more more space. Uh, a little bit time to develop and uh yeah that's makes it like you said unique it makes it uh i think way easier to play especially for a young player yeah now you, you talk about it saying that you know that you guys are are really friends you guys have a good chemistry both on off the basketball court but like you know you look at your team you know many guys are coming from many different places you know you have samir that's coming from israel you know Luke, like we mentioned before that's you know, it's coming from the states. You know, a bunch of different German players, a bunch of different like cultures, but people from all over the place. So, how are you guys able to like get along so well, and 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 how are you able to like translate? How does that translate on onto the basketball court? Is it? Uh, I don't know how why we get along so good. I think it's maybe Imar or uh, sports director that just picks the right guys, like good characters, people that uh, 
yeah, like to talk to others, uh, yeah, open up and yeah, guys that have, uh, like to have fun and, uh, yeah. that's what it is, uh, having fun every day in practice, making jokes, uh, for sure. Knowing also when, uh, when to take stuff serious, but, uh, Absolutely. not being, not being too serious, you know, and then, yeah. uh, having fun going into games, being the underdog, like we are in a lot of games. And just like, yeah, trying to upset big teams and uh, big names. And it's just, yeah, it's just, like I said, it's fun. I can uh, I can only repeat myself. I'm curious to know because you guys went through a little bit of a rough patch. You guys had a little bit of a losing streak there. But you couldn't tell from the, from the atmosphere of the team. So, you know, what were you guys saying to each other during that period, during that time, that allows you to kind of continue to be positive and continue to play great basketball? Mm -hmm. uh, just, just trust it. Because we we knew uh, it was going to work out. It worked out last year for us. It worked out in the beginning of the year. Uh, yeah, we know what we have to do just to continue. And uh, yeah, like you said, twelve games in a row is a lot. And, yeah. um, but it, it never felt like it. it never yeah. felt like it. And then maybe what helps also you have the domestic league games in between where you win games, and then mm -hmm. it doesn't really feel like twelve games in a row. Uh, but still, you start uh, start thinking about it for sure. You might yeah uh, might lose your confidence, but just because everybody. Uh, yeah, everybody knows that he can talk to everybody and uh, makes it easier to uh, like, yeah, to realize what's going on, uh, talk about the mistakes, and uh, yeah, don't lose don't lose the attitude we have. Now, Berlin, Germany is one of the best cities in the world. You know, one of the you know, one of the top cities. You know, many people travel to all the time. So, you know, to you, what is your favorite part about living in Berlin, Germany? And where are some of the places that, you know, you and your teammates, you know, look forward to and they can go and just kind of like, you know, hang out like you said, have fun together? Yeah, yeah. Berlin is amazing. I'm from Hamburg, also a big city in Germany. Yeah. But Berlin has a lot of stuff to do. And you have a bad game, uh, the next day might be off. You can do so much stuff. You can you can look at the city. You can do go to a restaurant. You can go to a museum. It's just so much to do that gets your mind off of basketball in a good way. Yeah. Uh, and then what would we like to do? We have a golf simulator here in uh, oh. Berlin where we like to go a lot. <laughs> really? Even during the summer, we like to go golf. Uh, what's, your, what's, your, golf. what's your handicap? What's your handicap? Uh, actually, I don't I don't have a handicap because in general, you stop playing. I just started the summer. You stop playing. Okay. So your handicap beginning is uh, 54. And then you have to play tournaments to get it better. Yeah. Never played a tournament. So uh, it's 54. I'll say realistically, it might be. Yeah. Around thirty, I'm not, I'm not uh, that good yet. So sure. I can, I can swing it. I can swing it sometimes. Yeah. So, 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 so uh, Joe Whitman, he's, uh, he's yeah. a big golfer. So they, he talks okay. about it all the time. And okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's it's cool. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Luke, Luke put me on it actually. Yeah. He's a really good golfer. Uh, yeah. Luke and Marcus, they can really, they can really play golf. Yeah. That's good. Though. That's cool. That's cool. Now you talk about your mom and your dad, you know, playing basketball. So what is it like for them to see you play at this stage? Um, you know, what type of advice or what type of, you know, encouragement did they give you um, to see you, you know, see their son, you know, playing at the highest level of European basketball? I hope they enjoy it. Uh, they come to the many games as possible. Uh -huh. uh, it's only a two hour uh, train ride uh, from Hamburg nice. to Berlin. So they, yeah, try to make it to at least the good games. Yeah. And uh, I think, I think they enjoy it. Uh, they encourage me a lot, but what I, what I really appreciate, they, they tell me it's my career. They're not trying to force anything. They just give me advice of when I need advice, but it's not like they don't, don't try to push me in any direction. So that that's how it always has been, and it's still like this. And the last question I have, like I said, you're 24 years old, but you know you've been you know in Europe League, you know for you know for some time, you know being part of you know the teams at Abu and also teams at Bamberg. So for you, you know when you're an old vet like me. Um, you know, what are, what are your career goals? Like, you know, what are you, what are you, what are you looking to accomplish, you know, in your career? Uh, that's a good question. Cause I, I think I want to win the U league. That's, that's yeah. for sure. Cause that's like a goal. It's my fifth year now in U league and always seeing the big teams competing for the final four, the whole event. Uh, I mean, you know, best about it probably. <laughs> it's my big goals. And then also I try to go uh, play in the NBA. Still, yeah. still one of my big dreams. I think every every kid has that dream playing basketball. And for me, being 24, I think I'm still young enough. For sure, yeah. got to work on my game. I got to improve uh, every day. But that's uh, still my goal for sure. Definitely, man. I mean, you're you're definitely on the right path, man. You continue to Thank continue you. to make the the steps forward. That's your big thing, man. I definitely see that um, happening. You know, for you uh, someday Thank in you. the future. In the near future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we before we go, we're going to go into our clutch time. Quick. Questions. What is your favorite warm-up song? 
favorite warmer song, man. I don't listen to music that much, to be honest. Really? Mow the Lord just put me on uh, some ramp. So I'd say J.P. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. December 4th. I like that a okay. lot. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Shout, shout, <laughs> one, yeah. shout out to Mow the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is What is your go-to pregame meal? Uh, it's pasta with the tomatoes, uh, mozzarella cheese, and pesto. Uh-huh. Nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. Is what is the essential part of your pregame routine? For me, is the pregame nap. Like I have to have a pregame. Yeah. Nap. Is it anything for you that's like essential? Same for me. I think I never yeah. played without napping before. To be yeah. honest, <laughs> yeah. 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 I need yeah. either thirty minutes or ninety minutes, depends on what time we play. I need yeah. the nap. I need the nap definitely. I'm the, I'm the same. Is there is there anything special that you keep in your locker? Uh, not really. My shoes. <laughs> yep. That was special enough. <laughs> uh, two more questions. Uh, what are you, what are you watching on the road trips when you guys are going on the road? Uh, a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of yeah. YouTube. I watch, uh, I watch a lot of golf YouTube actually. Uh, I watch awesome. chess and then I watch a lot of life sports. Whatever sports oh. is on, yeah, I follow basketball, I follow soccer, I follow everything. Formula One, the whole nice, package. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. And last question is, would you rather have a game-winning dunk or a game-winning block? Because I know you do a little bit of both, so which one would you rather prefer? Uh, I like the block. The block is still yeah. yeah, and my guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Take the hopes of the folder, man. Just yeah, attend it to the glass, I think. After yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> All right, man. Louis, man, I appreciate you taking the time to step in the corner with me. Um, I wish you best of luck and uh, health for the rest of the year. Um, like I said, man, all the best, you know, in your career. Um, like I said, man, you have, you know, you're one of my favorite players to watch. You know, as I've been continuing yeah. to see your growth, you know, over the, the ever since Bamberg, you know, Bamberg is, was was once home for me. So seeing up and coming players go from there and seeing how you, you know, rose in your career has definitely uh, been great to watch. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Your league fans, thank you for tuning in to this episode of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. Tune in very soon for more episodes coming your way. Thank you. Take care.